We're gonna try out a new stump grinder today. One, two, three. It's gonna be a fun time for this brand new Rayco. We're gonna try out today from FMI. They're pretty nice to us, always letting us play around with cool tools. This is a situation where we could follow these trees out through here. There's a bunch of rainbird sprinklers in there and our mess would be all over the Ponderosa, all over the estate, all over the golf course, however you want to put it. Instead of right here, if we, if we strip them out, we can just put it all, all the mess, the whole action, the excavator turning on its turret again and again, a lot less disturbance. Just gotta keep the ropes out of the chipper. So here's where it's super hard to tell on the video, but it's it's got disturbed soil on the back side of the sweep. Maybe this angle shows it better. What we have here is we're just gonna have the chipper crew, which is everyone, wait on the cleanup until we have this huge unholy mess because it'll be actually faster this time than trying to slow us down by trying to keep up. Because we've got two climbers and real close to the chipper, it's gonna be best if we just make a huge pile and, and then clean it up together later. Plus the pile will give us a cushion to lop logs onto. Oop, I'm wishing I had gloves. The spark feels sharp. Why don't you have gloves? Why don't you bring them? Why is it not mandatory equipment? I don't know. I just rarely have them unless I really think about it.
Oh yeah. You get the beast points for the day. You see that sprinkler? Huh? You see the sprinkler? I don't. Oh, yeah, I see that one. Yeah, I'm off to the right a little bit. Because the weight was out this way, so I didn't want to fight it too far off. Of it, really. Well, it were it was perfect. Yeah. That's all I can ask for. Perfect. Um, I'm gonna lower this, and then can I get my 440? Peace out. <laughs> Amazing what a couple of monkey beavers can do in a couple of minutes. Get it done quick, yeah. <laughs> Try to keep your logs on the pile. I know, I was looking at that, I'm like, dang, I really wanna. Free footers. I'm like, I really wanna come deep, deep notch them and put them right on that top, but. Well, you can play if you want to, but. Nah, I'll just. I'm not gonna tell you not to have fun. That 151 was kind of acting like it was running kind of rich yeah i kept wanting to die it, yeah and it kind of felt boggy like the whole time not good i was kind of wishing i brought my tool in but i choke it to turn off this thing is a beast it's loud too right uh-huh right this cut right here was inside my ear hole <laughs> And it just sounds so close to you because it's so loud. Uh, I like, knew Dude. it was actually. You like get away from it because it just feels like the noise projects to outer points. I knew I was running it even louder than necessary too. Yeah. You might want to not go down until I go back up. Okay. <laughs> All right, I'll drop one and then you drop one. That's what I get. Yeah, I deserved it. But I also trusted you and thought he's just gonna rail on that back cut. All right, I'll wait for you for a couple. Hey! <laughs> you 
Yeah, I was pushing the height of that one a little too much. Yeah. Did I ever tell you I had a side job when I was like starting out, when I was actually starting to like cut pretty good? And, and you gave yourself a passing train? That's when I learned. Yeah, it came down just all boom on the spar. I was like, never again that big. Yep. I'm like, I understand why, but never again. All right, cut two, and then I'll cut one, and then we'll drop. Okay. <laughs> Dang it! I had it in slow motion, and it got so slow it stopped. like a dream whereas some of our other grinders on the ponderosa pine and stuff all the fibers bend over like noodles and then they just whip around and steam. Ponderosa pine is stringy. Super stringy which oh, is you're good. Saying it, you're saying it works? Show Grinds me. like a dream. Show!
this is a track, so Vermeer, I think they were making me buy two at a time. So the last time I had to replace one, I still had one that wasn't broke. So the next time we broke one, which is just a few days ago, I still had this older one that still wasn't broken. So between the old unbroken one and the other side, which will have limited hours left, we're gonna be able to go a little longer without having to buy two new tracks.